This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related, and today we're going to be talking about some upcoming games coming soon to Stadia. Let's not hesitate and dive right into this, beginning with The Strange Brigade. In this 4-player co-op, third-person shooter, you'll be embarking on ruins and solving many puzzles. I think the best way to describe it to you is simply Indiana Jones meets Left 4 Dead. The game will pitch you against a massive amount of undead enemies that you have to blast through to get across to find the treasure. Some key features worth highlighting is that you can play this game in 2-4 player co-op and the levels do change based on how many people are playing with you. Enemies will become much harder to deal with and puzzles will be readjusted based on how many players are involved. That said, the game is fully playable through solo play. The game will have you blasting through a variety of environments including dig sites, pyramids, caves packed with plenty of treasure to find. You'll be able to select one of four different characters for this journey, and you'll also have upgradable gear and weapons. On average, the game takes around 7.5 hours to beat the main story, but if you're a completionist, expect around 13.5. Just some last words before moving on to the next one, I would highly recommend checking this game out if you're a fan of the Zombie Army 4 series, it's very reminiscent of that style. They also did a great job incorporating a narrator who's talking about your journey with some very British humor that's actually pretty well done. But now let's move on to the second game, and that's Sniper Elite 4. This game is a tactical third-person combat shooter where you're going to be taking aim and sniping from a distance. You'll be able to plan and scout ahead while also lining up targets with traps throughout the environment. The game takes place in the beautiful Italian peninsula and will definitely provide some sights to see, but now let's get into the features. While being named Sniper Elite 4, don't worry, you can also use pistols, submachine guns, and other heavy weapons and explosives. This will allow you to adapt to any scenario in case all hell breaks loose and you need to adapt. Throughout the game, you'll be upgrading skills and tweaking key weapon traits such as scope magnification, muzzle velocity, and stability. The full-on campaign can be played with one or two players, there's a dedicated co-op for 2-4, to four, and a multiplayer for up to 12. And let's not forget what might be the coolest part of the game is those x-ray kill cams. If you get a nice snipe and it happens to be at one of the vital parts of the body, you're gonna get that real nice slow motion x-ray kill cam effect that really is satisfying to watch. As for the time to beat for this game, on average the main story is about 10 hours but a completionist run can easily go to 35 and a half. I should also mention this is exactly the type of game that has some replayability simply because you can approach each situation in a variety of ways. It really is fun to see what works and what doesn't by experimenting around. Some final thoughts before moving on, while Sniper Elite 4 certainly looks very reminiscent to the other games made by Rebellion such as Strange Brigade, it really is a different pace. And don't get me wrong, you can treat it somewhat of an action game, but it really shines when you take your time to plan everything out and see it all unfold. Not to mention, many Sniper Elite fans would consider the fourth entry into the series the best one yet, so it would be a great time to dive into this. But now let's talk about the third and last game coming to Stadia real soon, and that's Super Hot Mind Control Delete. Now if you haven't played the original Super Hot game, I highly suggest you do so. If you're a Stadia Pro member, go and claim it, it's a pro game right now. Either way, Super Hot Mind Control Delete seems to be just more of it, and that's a fantastic thing because it was such a great game. It offers a very interesting and cryptic story, a beautiful art style, and some very unique gameplay. Because in this game, time moves when you do. Now let's go over some features here. Mind Control Delete is much bigger than any of its predecessors so far. You're going to have even more mechanics at your disposal than ever before, and you're going to be able to experiment with different playstyles. This will allow you to build your characters differently and outsmart your enemies through various combinations. As you progress through the game, you'll be able to obtain a mass amount of skills, hacks, and special techniques to go against the waves of enemies coming at you. The game promises to be a challenging experience as enemies will be smarter and more deadlier than ever before. The developers are also promising more polish than ever before as it's been in early access for nearly 4 years of development. They are saying it'll provide a more refined, sharper, flashier experience than any super hot so far. 
My final words on this game is that I simply can't wait. I'm a huge fan of the series, both the VR version and the non-VR version, and it's just a fantastic experience. The game legit makes you feel like you're John Wick or Neo in the Matrix. I highly recommend you try out the original Super Hot that's currently free as a Stadia Pro title because it really is different than any other shooter out there. But now, some closing thoughts on the three games they just announced for Stadia. Honestly speaking, it's always good to see more titles coming to the platform. And while two out of three of these games may be on the older side, it's still a fantastic thing to see, as we do know bigger games are coming and coming soon. I'm really supportive of them keeping this sort of thing up while we wait for the big AAA releases coming in September and then fall because it'll be a great way to keep us entertained till then. Now I should note that we didn't get a release date for Sniper Elite 4 or Super Hot Mind Control Delete, but we did get some very interesting information about Strange Brigade, and that's the fact that it's coming to Stadia August 1st. Now, the next part, pure speculation, you've been warned, but I wonder if that means it's a Stadia Pro title. There's absolutely no guarantee that that'll be the case, but it is a very interesting release date to choose for the title. Either way, it shouldn't be long before we see the full lineup for the August Pro games. That's all the games that have been announced coming to Google Stadia real soon, but I'm interested, what do you think of the titles? Are you excited for any of these, or are you not? Let me know in the comments section below, I look forward to reading your replies. As for today's end of video message, I'd like to get some feedback on this video. As some of you can tell, I released this much more on time with the actual release drop of the info, and I'm curious if that's something you're interested in happening more often. Now typically I talk about a variety of more news topics in one video, but I do think there is some benefit to getting it out there fast, so I'm curious to see what you think of it. In the coming weeks, you'll see a few changes on the channel as I test some different video things out, but I'm very interested in hearing all your feedback and whether you dislike or like something. It's always welcome, be it good or bad feedback. Either way, thank you for watching, this has been Generation Stadia giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related. The Gen S community is over 4,700 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.